This month, Multnomah County Circuit Courts ordered OHSU to pay more than $430,000 to PETA after not abiding to public records requests. In 2017, OHSU published this report in which PETA officials say prairie voles ingested the equivalent of 15 bottles of wine. Soon after, PETA filed public records requests for footage of these experiments. Drop them into shoeboxes to watch them fight, watch them attack each other, watch them try to escape. But OHSU didn't comply to records requests. Instead, court documents show the university said it couldn't produce records because the VA hospital had them. But when PETA asked the VA for records, officials told them OHSU lead researchers destroyed the videos. OHSU came back and sprung into action saying, oh, these these videos no longer exist. We don't have them. Smith says it wasn't until just before the trial began that PETA found out this footage existed. This case really exposed OHSU's deep contempt for public accountability in a ton of ways. OHSU claims the experiments were to study the effects of alcohol in male prairie voles. In a statement on the lawsuit, OHSU says the university takes seriously their obligation to comply with Oregon record laws. They say the university has a long history of respect responding to public records requests in a timely manner. But PETA officials say that didn't happen. Some footage shows male and female prairie voles paired together. Females are tethered to the wall. PETA eventually learned through litigation that the experimenters made a conscious decision that they didn't want these videos to fall into the wrong hands. In a statement, OHSU says its research is monitored by the USDA, who visits campus at least once a year to inspect the animals, facilities, and food supply. But PETA says in this $2 million experiment, all 150 voles died in the process. Thomas Schultz, KGW News.